Attention to detail. Dust spots, blemishes and highlights have quite an impact on image quality and the appeal of that image. More so than some photographers appreciate. With this image, I've deliberately selected one with far more distractions than normal. But of course that makes it very good for demonstration purposes. Look at the difference here as I show the image before the repairs are done and after. There's quite a difference, isn't there? And I think it proves my point. Now, almost any image is going to have some distractions somewhere. And generally, they're worth dealing with. In Photoshop, with the original image, we need to create a new blank layer by clicking the icon down at the bottom right of the layers. Over on the left hand side, we're going to be using the spot healing brush and the healing brush from the toolbox. Now we're going to use those because they're going to meet most of our needs. So we'll just concentrate on those. If we go to the options, we're going to select the spot healing brush tool. But from the top of the screen, make sure you've got this little box ticked, which says sample all layers. What that's going to allow us to do is to sample pixels from the image, but only paint all the repairs onto that new blank layer. That's why this is so easy and foolproof to do. Now I'm going to use the control key and the spacebar key. The zoom tool appears so I can click and drag. Always best to fix some of these problems with the image enlarged. I can judge the size of the brush better. And there you can see I'm just placing a brush over the top of that blemish there. I've increased the brush size using the square bracket keys to the right of the letter P. But now all I need to do is to click and the repair is done. Over here, I can click and click and click. So we can see it's not such a hard job as we first thought. And all of the work is now on that new blank layer up at the top right. Control zero will fit the image back on screen. Now, sometimes it's going to go a little wrong. So if I zoom in a bit at the top left there and I make a nice big brush and I was to do some repairs here, let's just assume that I'm not happy with those repairs. I've got two options. Because I'm painting onto a new blank layer, I can select my eraser and I can just erase them and then select the tool again and have another go. But I also have Control Z, which would undo the last two operations. So if I made one operation and two and didn't like them, then Control Z, Control Z takes me instantly back. In that situation, we may want to select the other tool here, which is the healing brush. The only difference with the healing brush is that we need to hold the Alt key and choose where we're going to sample from. And just like the spot healing brush, we do need to select current layer and below to do the same thing as we did before. Clone from this layer, but paint it onto the new blank layer. So now I can adjust my brush size a little bit with the square bracket keys. I'll drop it down just a little bit. Hold the Alt key, click alongside there, and I'll have a go at painting over there and looking at the result. I can then move over to the left and maybe hold the Alt and sample from there. One way or another, we can repair everything that you can see on this particular image because you've already seen them fully fixed. Whenever we select the healing brushes, you'll notice that they work with content aware. We can see that shown to us at the top of the screen. And that helps our repairs to blend in. And at first glance, when we look at this image, it looks okay. But there are some blemishes in the water in the foreground that I deal with. So let's zoom in and take a look. Now I'm back with my spot healing brush here. And with this image here, 
I think this is a little more typical. There's certainly nowhere near the number of blemishes here than we saw in the previous image, but there's quite enough to deal with. And as you can see, even though I'm talking, I can quickly tap around this image and do the repairs in a seamless way, and it doesn't take too long at all. Now, sometimes if you want to do long areas like this, it's better to do them in small touches. But of course, because we've got the control Z, we could always give it a try, couldn't we? Because if it works, and I think we'd get away with that, then we can proceed and do some of the others. Please consider subscribing to my channel and give me that thumbs up like if you think my videos are worthy of it. I'll see you next time.